What just happened with the third temple ceremony shocked the world. As a Christian, you must be aware that as far as Christianity is concerned, the rebuilding of the third temple in Jerusalem by the regathered Jews in the Promised Land is a purely Jewish matter and to a great extent has nothing to do with Christianity. It is still a rapture sign and it is already being fulfilled. Even if the Jews did not build an actual building, and by the way, there are many, many Jewish temples in Jerusalem, and instead placed a tent to represent the third temple, it would simply suffice. In fact, what you as a Christian must understand is that the rebuilding of the third temple has more to do with what Satan wants to do via the Antichrist than with God's plans for you and the church. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1-4 to Now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we ask you, brothers, to not be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless a rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Sounds confusing? It shouldn't. Satan wants the light of God to disappear from earth, and he can do that by turning as many people as possible into atheists, seculars, or misguided believers. Additionally, Satan has to turn Jerusalem into an unholy place to fulfill his goals. So how is he doing it? Well, to least say, he invented something called political Zionism, which forced the reestablishment of Israel via force and genocide in what can only be described as a complete violation of the covenants between Jacob, who is also known as Israel, and God. Political Zionism has fulfilled a prophecy of the regathering of the Jews in the Promised Land in a manner that is 100% un-Jewish. And now these politically motivated Zionists want to rebuild the Third Temple by force and violence, which is again in violation of the covenants with God. According to Judaism, not only Israel must be established via peaceful means and be welcomed and never attack anyone or nation, but more importantly, the city of Jerusalem must become a city where all those who believe in the God of Abraham can live and visit to worship in peace. Jerusalem is supposed to become a city from which the light of God shines upon all humanity, a city that creates peace for all mankind. Since the creation of Adam and Eve, God wanted all people on earth to be believers and live in harmony. Wars are simply the work of Satan. So what has Israel been doing since its inception in 1948? It has been doing the opposite. It has been working around the hour on eradicating the presence of the other two Abrahamic religions, Christianity and Islam, from Jerusalem. They want it to become exclusively Jewish, or to be more politically correct, they want it to be the center of the international Zionist movement and a place from which this organization and its affiliates can shine its own agenda to the world which is atheism and secularism, coupled with some sadistic sense of supremacy and imperialism. These Zionists are so racist, they call all non-Jews the others or strangers, and go as far as saying that each Zionist who is with Israel is entitled to 2,700 slaves. They are racist, and their agenda is quite sadistic, but they are very smooth talkers and rich too. So they have a lot of people in lobbies polishing their image, including some churches. These Zionists do not care about Jesus nor believe in him as anything but a false prophet. Their goals are political, earthly, and neo-imperialism. So what does this make them? It makes them part of the Antichrist's army, and thus their current leader and prime minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, can be considered to be the Antichrist, or a captain on his team. He does fit the criteria. He is a very smooth politician and motivational speaker, and quite deceptive. He is even being called a king because he served a total of 17 years as Prime Minister of Israel since 1996, and no one has been able to topple him, for he is a very masterful, manipulative deceiver. He is also not Jewish. Yes, Netanyahu was born and raised in the United States, 
His parents are Polish. He is a white European and not even a descendant of one of the 12 Israelite tribes. He is a mere Zionist. So is he the Antichrist? Well, he is a very dangerous, well-connected, and very influential man who is nearly impossible to beat and defeat. He can broker deals with anyone. He is also secular and, according to many, is actually an atheist and constantly banging on the drums of war in the Middle East. This leads to wonder, what if the Third Temple was built today? Well, no one would actually mind if it was built in a normal manner without stepping on Islamic or Christian sites in Jerusalem. But that is not fitting with Netanyahu and Zionists in general. They want a World War III with Muslims because they want to topple down the Alaska Mosque and remove Islam just like they want to remove the church because both believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Again, they want to establish the third temple in violation of God's covenant, which states that its construction should be welcomed, peaceful, and a source of peace, not war. Zionists are simply using the third temple as an excuse to Judaize Jerusalem, or to be more specific, to Zionize Jerusalem. That sounds more like Satan's plans, not God's. Religious Jews cannot even agree on where to build the third temple and what dimensions to use. According to Jewish scholars, they do not know what the dimensions are because the first and second temples were built with guidance from God to his prophets. Okay, we'll pause a bit here because all of this sounds confusing. Here is the thing. The current state of Israel and its founders and rulers are all motivated by politics, power, control, and secularism. Additionally, Jews and Zionists alike do not care about Jesus Christ and want Christians to stop coming to Jerusalem altogether and to stop preaching the gospel to Jews. So why are you as a Christian waiting for Israel to do some sort of miracle for you? Israel has no role in the current church and it has a distinct part in God's program. As a Christian, you must realize that your mind and soul are the temple. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5 you also, as living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house for a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. You must also realize what Israel is doing in Jerusalem is a sign that Satan is fulfilling his plans. This is why the Jews are heavily punished by God during tribulation. The third temple simply paves the way for the Antichrist and thus would also mean that the rapture is nearing. Arrhenius and Hippolytus were among the first early church writers who foresaw a rebuilding of the temple as necessary for the preparation for the reign of the Antichrist. Additionally, Jesus tackled this issue when he responded to the Samaritan woman asking whether it is right to worship on Mount Gerizim or Mount Zion. John chapter 4 verses 21 to 24. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshiper the Father seeks. God is Spirit, and His worshipers must worship Him in the Spirit and in truth. Here, Jesus emphasized that the temple is not a place where his followers should worship, referring to the second temple, which was destroyed 40 years after his resurrection. Then Jesus emphasized that the temple will not even exist when he returns to kill the Antichrist and save humanity from the beasts. Luke chapter 21 verse 6, As for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left on another, every one of them will be thrown down. Indeed, Jesus Christ will return with a new Jerusalem and a new temple where he will sit on the throne, which Satan wants to himself to rule earth instead of Jesus. So if the Zionists build the third temple contrary to God's covenant and announce that their Messiah has arrived, then you can bet that the Antichrist will be sitting in that temple on behalf of Satan. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 3. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, 
and God himself will be with them and be their God. Revelation chapter 21 verses 22 to 23. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun nor the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light and the Lamb is its lamp. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and ring the bell so that every time we upload a video, you get notified.